WordPress Essentials, Domain and Web Hosting. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to share with you important considerations that you should consider before you register your domain. Now, in the screenshot that we're seeing here, you can actually allow WordPress.com services to uh, you know, register your domain as well as um, host your uh, domain on WordPress.com servers. So we know this from previous session, right? I just want to show this because WordPress.com actually allows you to register a domain as well. So you can have your custom domain. In today's internet world, there are many different websites whereby you can register your domain and get web hosting at the same time. I'm not going to recommend any one of these, but just realize that there are many of them. So, now, before you register a domain, you have to think long term and start you know, planning. If you want to brand your website, as in domain name, then surely you can choose branding um, keywords in your domain name. That's perfectly logical. But if you say to yourself, you know what, um, I'm just starting out online and I want to be able to drive lots of website traffic through Google or other search engines, then you should consider having your industry-specific keywords mentioned in your domain name. Now, before you contact any service provider to get uh, domain registration sorted out and get web hosting at the same time, you, you, you should ask them, okay, well, you shouldn't ask them first, Identify where your target audience is located. That is very important, particularly if you're offering local businesses, as in local service businesses, as in, let's say, electrician in Melbourne or electrician in UK and so on. Now, once you work that out and do your planning, well, you should already know that, right? So your, your, the location of your target audience is critical. So always contact the web hosting provider and ask them where the servers are located. And always select a hosting provider who has servers located in the location of your target audience. That's very important. As you can see in this example, I have selected .com version of rank you. That is designed specifically for US audience. And yet same domain name is targeting Australian audience as well because I live in Melbourne, Australia. And most modern web um, domain name registrars and web hosting providers will allow you to quickly and easily select an extension that you prefer. So you have that option in, in today's internet world, right? But the reason I say these things are important is because, let me demonstrate this to you. Google is a global search engine. Right? It, that, that's what it is, right? And unless you have a large amount of advertising budget it will not be easy to bring um, website traffic towards your website, particularly when you are just starting out. So therefore, you have to then sit down and say, well, how am I going to promote my website? How am I going to bring people visiting my website? Then, ideally, search engines take care of that when you optimize your entire website. So, as you can see, conducting a search as such using Google Australia brings results as we're seeing. 
This is true particularly for local-based search terms, meaning people living in Australia, they use google.com.au. People living in UK, they use google.co.uk. People living in US, they use google.com. People living in India, they use Google India. But I want to you know, demonstrate to you the importance of domain extension as well. As you can see, for Australian audience, Google is um, advanced enough to know where I am located when I'm doing the search. Also, the keywords that I search Google with. If the keywords that I search Google with contains information regarding locality, in this example it's Australia, then it is more than likely the result sets will come from websites that has Australian domain extension, as you can see. Doing the same search in England for Google UK, you see the result set coming from mainly from UK websites. Same search done on google.com will bring result set coming from um, US uh, top level domain. Dot com basically covers, it's rather universal, but mainly people in US search google.com. Okay. So then you can see the result set here. If I conduct the same search in Google India, then, because Google is intelligent enough to say, okay, you know what? Even though Google knows where I am located right now, how I'm logged into internet right now, it still brings me results because it knows I'm looking for that location. So as you can see, also, Look at the keywords in the domain here. So, this is called exact match domain. You have to be highly considerate as to selecting domain name. Sometimes it's ideal to use keywords in your domain name. And sometimes you may consider branding and so on. One way or another, I can't tell you which one you should choose. That will totally depend on your uh, goals so to speak. But as I've shared with you, the keywords in the domain, whether for branding or for Google rankings, are important. The location of the servers when you get web hosting is important. Also, the domain extension is important and much will depend on your goals as well as where your target audience is located. So work that out first before you register your domain and get a web hosting. And always contact the web hosting provider and ask them where the servers are located. That's very important as I've demonstrated to you. Knowing that you can actually let WordPress.com take care of most of your online business needs. I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.